Hi, I'm Mark Herman from Peyton Manning Children's Hospital at St. Vincent and Project 18. So you're running the Geist Half Marathon and 5K in May. Congratulations. Before you start training, here's some things you should know. Shoes are your main, your only piece of equipment in my opinion. Um, the most important thing, it's the football helmet of running. Go to the professionals, the, the big box stores, a lot of times they're running between a basketball shoe, a soccer cleat, and a running shoe. Uh, the running specialty stores, which we're lucky here in the metro area to have a lot of them, they're all trained specifically just on running shoes and can really look at your biomechanics, get you into uh, the proper shoe based on that. One of the biggest problems I see is that people come in and they don't have a proper size shoe. What we're shooting for, because the foot actually expands in size as it heats up, we're looking for between a half and a whole thumb's width at the end of the shoe between uh, your, your longest toe, which might be your big toe, it could be your second toe, and the end of the shoe. So when you try them on in the store, put them on, stand up, have somebody feel, and try to feel there to make, get that space. Where we need to allow is for the foot to expand. As your foot hits, the toes and the midfoot ex uh, expand out. If you're in too short of a shoe, it tightens it in, and as the foot comes down, there's nowhere for it to expand out. We find that that shoots shock up the foot, and we can get things like stress fractures, shin splints, that kind of stuff, plantar fasciitis. So making sure that you have that space at the end, very key. Generally speaking, you're gonna get maybe four to six months out of a pair of shoes. Uh, the chemicals that make up this soft material, they break down when exposed to, uh, into the environment. And no matter how much you wear them, how much you don't wear them, they're gonna lose about 40% of their cushioning by the time they're six months old. And the primary part of the shoe is cushioning. So, you know, I always say 450 miles every maybe four to six months. Be sure to register for the Geist Half Marathon and 5K at geisthalf.com. We'll see you at the finish line.